If you hood educated, I'm glad you made it. Allow me to unfold my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from a hood nigga's point of view to all of you here, there, and everywhere. Now, before we get into the video, do me a favor real quick. Smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you are enjoying my content, please hit the notification bell so that every time I drop a video, you'll be the first to get it. Now, check me out. Now, um, just to give y'all a recap, you know, I did a video a couple of days ago about uh, Lamron Marco, right? And Marco was talking about Lil Dirk can't come back to the hood. I'm talking about Marco was saying shit like he said that Dirk cannot come back to his block unless until he apologized for being a bitch, right? Tough words, cold blooded words. I mean, one thing, the nigga telling Lil Dirk he gotta apologize, then he gotta apologize for being a bitch. Cold. I'm talking about man. When you hear a motherfucker talk like that about you, you know you like, man, this must be a tough motherfucker, right? So now in the last few days, all of a sudden, Dirk is welcome back to the hood. Check it out. Wait up. I thought Dirk was banned from the block. What happened? Man, don't come over here on this fan shit, people. All right, cock sucking this shit. Folks are not banned from no block. <laughs> Nobody never you, say folks banned from no weird. block. <laughs> hey, I'm gone, man. <laughs> love you, little bro. I'm just gonna you to mind, man. I love you too, man. I love you. As y'all can see, that's Lamron Marco on there saying that no, Dirk is not banned from the hood. And, you know, basically saying that no, Dirk is welcome to the hood. And he never said these things. And come on, bro. Come on. You done left a digital imprint out here. Everybody in the United States of America seen exactly what you said, man. Right. But we got to think. What's making this young man backpedal, right? What's making this uh, young man retract his statement, right? Uh, it got to be pressure. That's the only thing that we can assume. It has to be some pressure applied for him to say, you know what? No, uh -uh, nah, he can come back. No, nah, no, nah, I never said he wasn't banned from the hood. You see what I'm saying? And that pressure came from his own gang. I guarantee you. That pressure came from his own gang. Because one thing we got to understand about the BDs is this right here. The BDs ain't got no problem with changing their own neither. I mean, like, just the history of the Black Disciples. Uh, they ain't got no problem with killing their own. A lot of gangs ain't got no problem with it. But the BDs is well known for it. I mean, with the situation with Lil Yummy that happened years and years ago. When they thought the Lil Young Boy, how was Yummy? Nine or eleven? And they thought that he was going to tell. And, and some men killed this little young boy. You see what I'm saying? So they got a history of demonstrating them type of measures on their own kind. And so that same pressure had to come to Lamron Marco. And I'm telling you, I guarantee you right now, he ain't even nowhere near Lamron. He put up somewhere. Which is smart. Get out the way. Because I'm going to tell you something. In Chicago, bruh, the back door capital of the world, a motherfucker will chop your head off for some money. They ain't going to play with you about no motherfucking money, bruh. I'm talking about if, they, if some motherfuckers came with a big bag right now, them niggas that you calling your homeboys will open that back door wide open. If they don't do it, they damn self. So... For you to be backpedaling after talking old, that, that tough ass shit, it lets me know that your ass in some trouble. But the good thing that you can do, bruh, is get on out the way. And not only that, though, just reflect on all the things that you've been doing with your life while you was over there on Lamb Run. What type of benefits have you gained? Right? What type of uh, 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 success stories that you have? 
And I'm not talking about success stories and game banging. I'm talking about some shit that you can go and tell your mother. You can go and tell your father. You can go tell your kids. Hey, look, this is what I did. See, we can't go to our kids and tell our kids, hey, look, I killed the motherfucker today. Hey, I robbed some motherfuckers today. No, we can't do that. You understand what I'm saying? We got to tell our kids and our parents and our grandparents about the good deeds that we did, not the evil ones. So reflect on all that, Lamron Marco, and think of the benefits. And if there are none, then that means that you have no business being on Lamron no way. Change your thinking, young man, and change your mind. Going back over there after you did that, after you disrespected Lil Dirk, and basically after you disrespected uh, Lil Varney, because, you know, they like this. It's just a matter of time, bro. It's just a matter of time. This hood educated, not lame related. Peace and love, and y'all take care of yourself out there.